Today, you get your own custom YouTube outro. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys had a fantastic New Year's, and welcome to the first video in 2020 on the Bravity channel. I'm super excited to just grind my way through the year and post as many videos and post as much content as possible, but I figured we'd start 2020 off right with yet another template inside of After Effects. We're going to be taking a look at a custom YouTube outro, but like my previous templates, you actually do not need After Effects to utilize this. If you go down to the description right now and download the template, there is a pre-exported version of the YouTube outro that you can throw directly into any of your editors and it'll work just fine. No After Effects needed. You don't need to own it. Just throw it in and you can start using it right away. If you already know how you want to utilize this outro, you can skip to this time code right here and we're going to get into After Effects and do some changes. But if you want to learn some tips and see how you actually utilize this outro inside of Premiere Pro, I'd stick around and I'm going to show you right now how to get started with the outro. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Premiere Pro, and we've got a clip of me ending a video here. As you can see, I give my little outro. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. So there's the end of the clip, and now it's time to add in the YouTube outro. So you just want to take the one that you exported from After Effects or the one that is pre-exported inside of the template, and I've got it right here, YouTube outro render, and you just want to drag it on top of your footage here, and we can kind of line it up a little bit like this, see when it closes all the way and get that kind of near the end of the footage, just like that. So now when we play through it, here's what we have or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. And there you go. As you can see, because of the alpha background, we've got it perfectly closing over the top of our footage. As you can see, it goes over the top, closes in, and then we've got our text animation and stuff that pops up on the side. And that's it for adding the outro to the end of your video. You literally just lay it over the top and you're done. Then you can export it and add these little side pieces, the watch another video and the subscribe button inside of YouTube. When you go to upload the video, you're gonna see the part that says add an end screen. And when you click on that, you'll be able to add a subscriber button right inside of this circle and you'll be able to add another video from a playlist or from your channel right inside of this square here. But if you do not have After Effects and you are not able to edit this to change it to be your colors and whatnot, something you can do inside of your editor if you have a hue and saturation control or any kind of color correction controls, throw those on there and then you can change it. Inside of Premiere Pro, I would probably just go to Effects and type in like Fast Color Corrector and you can see we've got the Fast Color Corrector down here. I'd throw that on there go to your effects controls, and then where it says hue angle, you can just mess around with that, and as you see, the colors will change. So you can change it to whatever channel colors you are. Let's say you're a nice orange channel color. Bang, just like that. You got an awesome outro Peace that out. is now orange with no After Effects necessary, and you can export it with that as well. Add your YouTube stuff in, and that is it. So for the people who don't have After Effects, this is a fantastic way to get a somewhat custom outro for your YouTube videos. But for those of you who do have After Effects, let's jump in and I'll show you how you can change a little bit more of the advanced settings. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. This is the project file that you will download down in the description and open it up. And the first thing you're gonna see is you've got four compositions here. You've got YouTube outro render, YouTube logo outro render, colors and your logo here now the reason you have a your logo here is because since you have after effects you can change and tweak this uh youtube outro to be a bit more custom so this youtube outro render here is the one that i just showed you inside of premiere pro it's the pre-exported one down in the description and it's just the basic it closes in the thanks for watching and the things come in on the side and that is it but since you have after effects you can change and add in your logo so we've got this one here called the youtube logo outro render and if you play that you'll see a logo comes in shoots out and then the uh thanks for watching and the stuff on the side comes in so this is a really awesome way to customize the outro and all you need to do is jump into the your logo here tab hide or just delete the fake logo here so you can just delete it like that then you just want to import your logo and then bring it in here make sure you scale it to size to fit inside of this box and then when you go back to this comp here your logo will be popping up right in here so your logo will shoot in go out and then the thanks for watching and the watch another video will come in then it's time to adjust the colors and you've got a bit more options than just changing hue and saturation so if you click into the colors tab here you'll see you've got these two background colors so you've got color one and if you go to the effects controls you'll see there's a fill effect where you can change the color here so let's change it to a dark yellowish or maybe just like a yellow like that and then you can go to color two 
and you can change this to be maybe a bright yellow or how about like a bright pink so as you can see it's a little bit different than hue and saturation because you can make these completely different colors if you want and if you hop back in here you'll see that it is changed in here and then it's also changed in the basic one if you want that as well but then also you'll see where we've got inside of these uh, compositions each one of the ones whichever one you choose you've got sub box comp and you've got uh, video box comp these are these two things on the side and you can change the hue and saturation of these to for the outline that goes around so you'll see we still got a little blue outline so the sub box we can move this around have this be a nice pink to match down here and then go to the video box maybe do the same thing you can just copy and paste the effects too if you want but there we go so you've changed it to where these are no longer blue they're nice pink to blend in and there is a custom outro with different colors you throw in your logo and that is pretty much it the in and out points are set for you guys on both of these to be about a 10 second outro so if you want to leave those you can or if you want to extend it to be longer you can as well but that's pretty much all you need now it's time to export so you just want to make sure whichever one you want is selected down here go up to composition add to render queue and where it says lossless in blue here you're going to click that where it says avi or format you're going to change that to quicktime to be a bit of a smaller file you can leave it on avi if you want but that's going to be a very large file to export and work with so i normally do quicktime then where it says channels RGB, you want to change this to RGB plus alpha. Like we discussed in the beginning, if you didn't just skip it, you'll see that when the outro comes in, it closes over the top of your footage. Like it closes like like that. That is because we have RGB plus alpha selected. If you did not have that, it would be a black background and it would look really bad. So you want to make sure you have that alpha background so that it closes over the top of your footage and doesn't have a black background. So there you go. RGB plus alpha. Hit OK. Then where it says output to YouTube outro render or YouTube logo outro render, you just want to click on that in the blue and that's where you can name it, save it wherever you want and do whatever you want. Then it's time to bring it into Premiere Pro, do all your stuff in Premiere Pro and then uh, take it into YouTube and add your stuff on the side. But you can just hit render and you are done. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, the first video of 20. 20. We're going to be doing so much stuff this year. Lots of videos coming to the channel. I'm super excited to just grind my way through the year and see where we end up. We got a lot of templates coming, a lot of different videos, fun videos coming, more streams coming over at twitch.tv forward slash BravityM. So make sure you follow me over there and I go live normally every Tuesday and Saturday. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.